catching a little puddle jumper to go to Curacao, which is the second of the ABC islands we're going to be visiting. We've actually been here before. They have live music at the airport while you're waiting. I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that plane ride really was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was kind of fun. It was kind of cool seeing the pilots. Like it, I don't know, it made me feel better about it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like the guy flying it wasn't like... 19. Yeah, he was chill. He was just like, yep, all right. But taking off was the worst part. It's our second time here and now that we have like a little more money and experience we got like a car and we're staying longer and we're gonna see some more cool stuff so yeah last time we only got to see the city so we're excited to show you guys around the whole island um, we just checked into our Airbnb super awesome Airbnb host we got a little lost but we figured it out <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys around real quick this is our little kitchen area she was so sweet and made us a little gift basket you don't really get that with a lot of Airbnb hosts anymore. And we have a little kitchen area. This place seems brand new. It's so nice. But I think there's been one person to stay here. The bedroom. I think she has really good taste and decor. The bathroom. And we have a hot water heater in the shower. We've been suffering for the last month with no heater. I'm really excited to like actually bathe. I think that's it. So let's get to the island. We're at Yen Piel Beach right now. It's less of a beach and more like a, a complex of tourist establishments, right? Lots of restaurants and, you know, bars and hotels and stuff. Wow, look at the water here. Pretty clear and beautiful. Yeah, something to note in a lot of countries is the beach is not necessarily public. A lot of them are pay or you have to be staying at the resort or whatever. You can just uh, accidentally drive down here, park. There's a gate here. There's just a path you can stumble onto onto the beach like we did that uh, gets you right, right into the Papaya Go Resort. Oops. We're gonna go check out an anti-pirate pirate fort. This is Fort Beaconburg. It's one of eight forts the Dutch built to, well, <laughs> fortify Curacao. Uh, this one's in the best condition, I think, or at least the best one we found so far. The other ones are like in ruins or turned into shopping malls. So we're gonna go climb around. This fort's extra cool because you get to go inside. This is the real thing though, guys. It's pretty cool. An anti-pirate pirate fort from the 1700s. Look at that. Does that get any more Caribbean? Really does not. I still think you should do some role playing like you're a Dutch sailor. I smell like Buddha and body odor. I wanted to be a pirate though. Oh, but this isn't a pirate fort, it's an anti-pirate pirate fort. <laughs> like, what is that? Are you gonna give me like a prostate? It's exam? my, it's my hook. <laughs> Arr. Coming for that booty. <laughs> This is the quarantine house for sailors that were sick at sea when they came back. It's kind of in a state of disrepair, but we're gonna go inside and hope we don't fall through a floorboard. <laughs> oh, there's your floorboards to fall through. Yeah, I know, right? It's in a lot worse condition than I remember it last time. I think it is. I don't re like, I remember this being a little ripped up, but it's definitely more ripped up than it was. Yeah, I'd rather not walk down there. Oh, Come on, babe. Okay. We're going. This is where the ghosts are. So you know this place has got to be haunted. Wow, the water looks amazing. 
you know, I want to get in. This is Director's Bay. So it's like a little secluded beach. It's beautiful. The water is yeah, it's really so clear. Really beautiful turquoise. <laughs> the stairs here are so cute. These are actually made out of little bits of coral skeleton. That's kind of neat. With how blue it is right here. I think it's even clearer than last time. Oh. How was it? It was actually pretty good snorkeling out there. Oh, I wish I could have gone. I'll come another day. Next week, I can, I can go. Alan decided to go on a dive that's a little bit advanced for me, so I figured I would show you guys our favorite city in the entire Caribbean and the capital of Curacao. This is Willemstad. It's so colorful, it's such a cute city, great food, awesome people. And right now, I'm on the Queen Emma Bridge that separates uh, this side, Otrobanda, from Punda over this natural bay called St. Anna Bay. I'm gonna be going over to Punta right now. There's a little festival going on today with some music and arts and crafts and stuff like that. So I'm gonna explore that and then Alan's going to meet up with us later. We'll show you around and get some food and stuff like that. It'll be fun. So this little festival is called the Punda Loves You. I believe it's an annual thing. What kind do you have? Um, I have uh, meat and uh, chicken. Oh, they, they brought out just like an actual gas stove to do this. Thank you very much. So I just got an empanada from that little stand and I picked up a chicken one. Looks delicious. Oh my gosh. The food here is ridiculous. Look at that. I wasn't expecting like a slow cooked seasoned chicken in it. Perfectly crunchy on the outside. <laughs> so Willemstad is kind of split into four separate neighborhoods. This one, Punda, is my favorite. I think it's really colorful. It's a little more touristic. Lots of wonderful street art. Willemstad is also considered to be one of the most colorful cities in the world. I don't know how true that is, but Seems true. <laughs> yeah, I found the bank. <laughs> Are US dollars okay? Yeah. Perfect. What's your favorite? I would say strawberry mango. I'll do strawberry mango. <laughs> All right, let's try this. That's a good popsicle. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I believe you, best on the island. I told you. <laughs> oh, that mango. It's, uh, I love it. Oh, it's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I'm not just saying this to be nice. I think this is the best popsicle I've ever had. The texture is exquisite. The flavor is just like, oh. you can tell you used all real fruit. Oh my gosh. This right here behind me is the Rund Market or the Round Market. And it has a lot of small artisan goods and souvenirs, some food items, things like that. This right here is called the Floating Market. There used to be a lot of boats that would line up right here, but it closed during COVID and I don't think it's quite recovered. This neighborhood is called Peter's Line. It's actually a pretty interesting neighborhood. It was a very rich area during the slave trade. Then when that ended, all the merchants and brokers and stuff went broke. So it turned into this neighborhood filled with abandoned mansions and it's completely dilapidated, but now they're restoring it. And it's kind of becoming a little more trendy. I don't know if you can see it, but in between these older buildings, there are brand new businesses. So they're restoring the old buildings into something new and nice. We just made it back with Alan and Toe. I think we're gonna cross the bridge right now. 
can go check out Ocho Banda really quick. It's a little less touristy, but just to show you. This is the Queen Emma Bridge, and if you can see it right now, it's a floating bridge on 16 boats, and it has an arm that swings open to allow ships to pass. So when the bridge is open, obviously can't cross it. So they have a free ferry that you can go to from either this side or that side that goes back and forth. So I understand that Ocho Banda is a little bit more local. There is some nice shopping down here and I think it's a little cheaper than it is in Funda. That was Willemstad. We did skip one neighborhood called Charlu. It's kind of more of a residential neighborhood. There's not really anything interesting in it for tourists that I know of, at least. Willemstad's really cool, though, isn't it? I love it. It's like my favorite city in the Caribbean, for sure. At least that I've been to. <laughs> but uh, we're going to head over to the next spot now. Did I say over all the things? <laughs> now we're on our way to walk to the Blue Cave. We're going to walk there instead of, you know, boat there, so. Save the 30 bucks, but if you do want to pay for it, $30 from Water Sports and more down around the corner. Wonderful experience. Highly suggest the Blue Room or Blue Cave or whatever they call it. We're gonna go try to see the flamingos. Die boy? I have no idea what to expect. Alan just brought us here. <laughs> this beach called again? Playa Lagoon. I'm not sure how interesting this is going to be going beach to beach to beach, but that's kind of what you do here. Yeah, there's not a whole lot else to do but go to the beach. All right. Years ago, we came here and got grilled iguana, so we're coming back. <laughs> Hello. This too, please. How amazing is this view? It drops a little much. <laughs> Iguana is kind of like chicken, but better and bonier. Last time they served it to us, like as like a whole iguana. <laughs> Ooh, a little chewy. It's like a little sweet, a little spicy. The iguana is a little tougher than chicken, but it tastes really similar. But a little more, I don't know, like the best parts of the chicken almost. And a little saltier. The taxi driver told us we gotta try stewed goat. It's a, I guess, Caribbean dish local to this part of the, the uh, Caribbean. And uh, I don't know how I feel about it because goats are pretty cute. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. I knew you'd like it. Mm -hmm. It tastes like something you get in like Europe or something almost. It tastes like lamb. Yeah. Yeah. A little different. A, a little, little less different. gamey, I think. A little, little less gamey than lamb. Yeah, it's like better lamb. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And this is like. That's gonna be me. so good with the yeah, rice. Yeah, it's like a tomato stew almost. What was the? 
total on that? Thirty-seven forty. Not the cheapest. No. But a lot of food. I don't know. Somewhere we bumbled into last time. Still had the barbecue iguana. Still great. And Alan really liked his goat. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> it was worth the money. Yeah. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> wow, he's beautiful. There's Big. another one over there too. You can see it swimming on the bottom. Is there like a cleaning station over here? No, well, yeah, sort of. A fish cleaning station. Oh, they and do. another one. Wow. We There's bumbled into this last time and noticed just a bunch of turtles and they are still here. It's a cool little beach, but the, the fish cleaning thing's pretty gross. I literally got fish blood on my leg. Yuck. Anyway, we are at Groat Nip now, which was like the furthest place we ever went the first time we came here. It was so hard. We had to like walk here on foot from like the closest town. People looked at us like we were crazy. Oh yeah, it was super hard to get here. Although, <laughs> it looks like there's a bus stop right there. Yeah. I don't know if that is uh, new or... We, we were just ignorant. Yeah. You know? And now... Okay, there was like no information about where the bus is stopped online. I'm actually terrified of heights, so... <laughs> So we just made it to Mamba Beach. Lots of shopping, restaurants, kind of aimed towards Dutch and American tourists. The type of place you go hang out on the beach and drink, so. I don't think we're gonna stay long, but just to show you guys. <laughs> okay. I'm struggling a little bit here. I wasn't expecting there to be a bunch of like, nightclubs, beach clubs, but there are a couple. Yeah, there's even a radio station. Yeah, that was Mambo Beach. Didn't make a huge stop, but just wanted to show you guys real quick. But now we're gonna go on to the next spot. This is St. Michael, which is a local fishing village. Right now we're actually like standing on an old Dutch fort, which is, you know, just kind of been turned into like a low key little dining establishment with some bars and stuff. And, you know, not much to this place, just a laid back little Caribbean town. Yeah, I just like that low key, not overly polished feel, you know, it's just kind of like laid back. Simple you know? little town. Yeah. Look at that. It's nice. I'm glad we came up here for a quick stop. This spot right here is called Tumbo. It's one of the free beaches. We call it Tumbo because there's a snorkel spot out here with a sunken tugboat, which is pretty cool. Douchey is Papamiento for like pretty, beautiful, cool, that type of thing. And the sunken tugboat is just around those blocks up there. We uh, already went, so I'll throw in some video of that right now. wines, beers, and soft drinks. Okay. Do you like these giant menus? Yeah, you can really appreciate the size. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. So these are ray buns. They're made out of a uh, corn dough and then stuffed with usually made vegetables. Mine's crab, but it's a dish traditionally eaten in Northern South America. So like Colombia and Venezuela and right by Venezuela. So it's pretty legit. This one's ham and cheese. That one's really good too. So it's kind of like a two layer sandwich we got here. Vegetables on the bottom, another piece of bread, and then steak and cheese right there. Very tender. 
Yeah. Extremely tender steak. Um, very moist. Lots of avocado. And like a little bit of like vinaigrette or something that kind of like takes it, you know, bite off of all the fat in it, which is a good though. Great thing for your book here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, do we go in to pay? That was our time in Curacao. If you want to see the rest of the ABC Islands, check out our last video for Aruba or our next one for Bonaire. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.